Ben used to see his kosher pizza shop as a safe space for him and the community he serves. An idea that was shattered last year when someone called with this threat. We will bomb you and all of that. Like, so immediately, I, I, in one case as well, I closed the restaurant earlier on. Like we closed the restaurant four o'clock instead of 10 o'clock because they said you need to evacuate the building. I called the police, get the police in, do the checks that just to make sure that we're safe. I don't want to uh, put anyone in danger, not my customers, not my staff, uh, not myself as well. His experiences part of a record rise in anti-Semitism, its impact being felt across the country, especially in some of Britain's biggest Jewish communities, like here in North Manchester, causing anxiety and anger among community leaders. I'm annoyed that we are being made to feel like this, that we are made to be intimidated, that we don't want to walk out on our streets, that people are having to cover up identifiable signs of being Jewish. We're proud to be British Jews. We play a huge part in this country. And for us to feel like this, because of something that happened thousands of miles away, is unacceptable. Free, free Palestine! Free, free a conflict Palestine! in the Middle East is free, fracturing free British Palestine! society. One, two, At the University of Leeds and on campuses and cities across the country, pro-Palestine protests are now regular. The organisers we spoke to condemned anti-Semitism. But Jewish students here say they've faced discrimination on campus. Every morning I wake up and I don't know if I should put on my, my yamaki, my skull cap. I don't know if I should do it because maybe this day I'll get attacked. An atmosphere Jamie says is only becoming more hostile. I've had swastikas drawn on, on the cars on my road. Um, in lectures, I know a lot of students have, had to, have felt really uncomfortable uh, listening to things that their lecturers have said and they've had to you know, walk out of, of seminars and lectures. Back in Manchester at this synagogue, a space for prayer, positivity and reflection has needed extra security. But the rabbi remains optimistic. My general confidence in our society at the moment is not necessarily being borne out. Um, my hope is that it, things will return to where they should be. Faith is one thing, but the facts are stark. Anti-Semitism across society is rising at an alarming rate. Shinki Marike, Sky News, Manchester.